In the civil society community, it's very usual to have women and to have uh, them participating effectively and they're well empowered, I think. But in the overall community, the Egyptian community, you'll find a very low standards of women representation. We have this uh, balance. We have 50-50% women and men. And also when you go deeper to the lower classes in Egypt, we will find women oppressed, they will find them uh, uneducated, and they will find them having problems with their families, they are not independent financially or even uh, socially. But in the civil society field, this is kind of a very normal way that women are there. Mostly because most of us are coming from political oriented society, uh, political oriented families, so we are well, well educated somehow. We are uh, having a good knowledge, and we have access to different uh, uh, practices around the world. We have this kind of awareness that enable us to go and participate and have our own vision and ideas about the future. And then the. Uh, uh, less than 2% in the parliament. And the, in the, the committee that's supposed to write the constitution, it's 3%, three, three, uh, three percentage, which is it's not right at all. <laughs> it's kind of exclusion. We are not there. And even the number of the women who are there in the parliament, they are not empowered. It's just kind of having this decoration for the parliament, to have 10 women or less. And also two of them are assigned, they are not elected. And during the election itself, uh, during the elections, you will find some of the uh, political parties, they had uh, women in their lists. And they made a press conference for all of these women. And one of the women who are supposed to go and run for their office, she said, I believe that women shouldn't run for office. <laughs> and I believe that women, uh, they are not well, uh, they, have, they doesn't have a complete mind. <laughs> their, their lack of experience and their lack of uh, uh, mentality to go and run for office is something that men only can do. We have different barriers. We can start it with Women themselves, they are not well confident that they can go and run for office. And we have another barrier concerning the culture in the society that hardly accept a woman which is well accomplished and is well educated and they will just say, okay, maybe you can just stay at home. And the third, the third one would be that people will not go and vote for, for, for women, maybe because of the culture ideas and also maybe because of the, uh, some of the economic problems that women, some of the people in Egypt will think that if there is a woman who are going out and work, maybe a man can go and, and work. But I do think that if we can do something concern the culture part, this can solve the problem because people will just understand that there is no kind of discrimination. We are all equal and uh, if a man can do something, women also can do it. And you think when you find a very good model of women uh, or women in the society or even from the outside communities, which, are well, which is well accomplished and you can present them to society, they will accept it and they will try to interact with her.